Hey, what's up guys? I am going to be playing Indigo Prophecy, as you can see. It is um, the same creators that brought us Heavy Rain for the PS3, which was also a good game. Anyways, I'm going to do like a little let's play or just show the beginning of it and everything. Yeah, I pressed it. And um, I'm just going to show you that it's a good game. And it is definitely worth checking out. That's not how you spell my name. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing too much talking so you guys can hear, like, how the story goes and everything, so, no worries there, screw it, right. I'm not playing it, I'm normal. No, I have the captions on so you guys can read if I do talk. self-explanatory. <clears throat> Beginning does start off a little bit slow, but it starts kicking up. So I'll stay quiet right now because someone starts talking. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. So, yeah. Uh, it takes place in New York. Just like every other game in the world. Um, so. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. So yeah, like I said, it's the same creators as Heavy Rain. If you don't own a PS3, uh, or if you're one of those guys that says Xbox is better than PS3. I own both. I love both. Both without a male. Uh, uh, but both of them have great games. Some games for the PS3, they're only for the PS3. So I don't care what people say. spoil anything as you guys are watching already. Uh, that's why I'm not really talking too much. I just want this game to start already so I can play. I haven't played it in a while. Also the um, okay this is what I don't understand right here. He's there's a mirror right in front of that guy right? How does he not see him? Maybe his glasses are too small? I don't know. 
I just have to say, that fool deserves to get stabbed. Like, hey, look at that mirror. Hey, look at that guy in the mirror. He's coming at me with the knife. Huh? Oh. Hope he washed his hands. It's disgusting. Yeah, the guy in the candles area, it's, uh, it pretty much tells you who he is later on, the same as her. Alright, I'm gonna be able to play in a second. The thing on the bottom right. Is if that goes all the way down, you pretty much get game over. Uh, I don't understand. I didn't want it. It was like a dream. Now just dream to get it. Uh, ooh, look at the copy. Copy. Seriously. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here. You have a few decisions here and there. Like I can just run out of here right now and the cop will well the whole restaurant will be like, Oh my god, he's all bloody Then I just run out. Or I can clean myself off like I'm doing. Uh, I can see and it goes up whenever you do something good. clean up the streak. Oh, I wonder what's past the streak, huh? There, go. there it is. And you pick up the knife and then it goes the knife. I've got to get rid of it. It goes to the this area because later on in the game you're gonna come back and you have to actually have to find the knife. Because you play as more than one character. So I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with the yeah, knife. I think you saw it when you were washing your hands, buddy. Whatever. Hold on. Can I take a pee? Yeah, I can pee. This makes me feel better, too. I think that's the one. Nope, guess not. Shows what I know. Money? Empty. Money. And pretty much the more stuff you do in this restaurant, it's easier for the other characters to catch you. Hello, you reached Marcus Kane. I'm not in at the moment. Please leave a message after the beat. So now uh, they can check the phone records to see who I called or something. Uh, let me sit down. No, I'm just getting into soft drink. <clears throat>
that now I can just get up and leave. It's pretty much done everything here. neighborhood before the police get here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the cops going to, to the restroom. <laughs> and later on in the game, we find out who this guy is right here on the left. See, look at him. Look at the cop right there. He sees the blood streak go to a stall. Why didn't he clean up the street? Seriously. And do you think if you killed someone, you'd take his money? Like, oh, I accidentally killed someone, I'll take his money. Nobody goes anywhere. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your ideas. <clears throat> like, um, I'll show you the next, the last two characters in this game, and then uh, I'm going to pause it. There's uh, Carla and Tyler. He's Tyler. She's Carla. Tyler, Sorry. somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Uh, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but there is one thing that I absolutely hate about Tyler. I'll show you guys in a minute. Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting. And no, it's not. Hey, what hey, people were probably so thinking. What happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. And then you have questions to ask him. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Who is the victim? His name was uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah. Kate Morrison, I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home OK. All right. Now, at the top right, you can see that you can choose between both characters. Like, even if they're far away, you can still switch between them sometimes. All right, here's what I, well, there's actually two things that I don't like about this character. It's, he's got a theme song that they play over and over and over, and it's just, ooh, I hate it. And the other reason, like I said, it's not what people are most likely thinking. Uh, not that way. Just look at how he runs, seriously. Is that not the gayest, no offense to them, but is that not the gayest run right there? You look like a freaking sissy, man. I'm sorry, but that's a sissy run. And the, the music isn't too great either. But anyways, um, yeah, that's this game. If you guys want me to continue playing it, leave a comment uh, or something all right well thanks for watching guys